What's up, everybody? So I was as I was making the group assignment for last week, I had to learn more about how to do that. So I went into the Canvas help uh, menu and read through their little you know, literature and what to do, which are really cool. If you ever have a chance to go into the Canvas guides, because it's not like you have to do English and math and probably science and some other stuff too, and, you know, why not? Spend another bunch of hours in, on Canvas. But if you go into the uh, Canvas guides, you can find out a whole bunch of cool stuff. So if you have a chance, go and do it. Uh, but I thought, you know, maybe you probably didn't get to all of it. So there is the idea of student groups, and I thought it was pretty cool. By the way, if you're trying to figure out what that fuzzy thing is, I'm in student view for the teacher side, so it doesn't even show pictures or anything. It's the lamest thing of all times. What a student group is, and it's not student group for an assignment. In fact, the group that I'm talking about doesn't have anything to do with the assignment per se. But I've been talking to some of you, and uh, last week some of your partners didn't really help out, so you ended up partnering with people from other groups, which was completely in, in fine by me. I was okay with it. Um, but that's why this week is choose your own partners. The idea is sometimes it's helpful to have that little study group to work with. Now I'm hoping these study groups wouldn't lead to like people just giving people answers because like I've said before, you're still responsible for all the information when you take a test and your group doesn't take the test for you. But it's nice to have somebody else who's at the same level that you're on and doing the same assignment at the same time as opposed to having to come to me and I have to think about which assignment it is and you know, and just sometimes it's nice to talk to peers about that sort of thing. So create a group. You make like a study group for yourself. What you get when you make a study group, you get your own, it's like a page, it says pages. It's basically like your wiki for your, your group. So maybe you can post links to videos that were helpful or you know other resources, like I found another textbook that some dummy put online and will probably get sued for. You'll get access to discussion boards that are specific to the idea of your actual group and just your group. So you don't have to go into the discussion groups where other people could see it. Uh, so you could just talk amongst yourselves about, you know, math, whatnot. Uh, you'll have access to conferences and chat. So the things that you would need to interact with your group are all there. And also a collaboration part of it. Collaborations allow you to uh, share files and that sort of thing. So you'd have all that just within your group and not necessarily tied to everybody in Algebra 2 if that's kind of the way you want to roll. So in order to set up a group, just go into the People section and you'll see View User Groups here. I'm not in any groups because I'm antisocial, I suppose. Uh, it's the student version of me is antisocial, which is pretty accurate if I think back. If you want to start a new group, you just click Start a New Group and uh, it will pop up and give you the option to invite everybody or uh, invitation only memberships you just click their names and then you uh, say yes let's create a group and people can deny your group you know be very vapid about it if they want well I'm not I don't need a group that sort of thing but uh, if they join your group you'll have access to all that information that's all in the Canvas guide. I'll pop a link up to show you how to do it in a more efficient form that they get access to more stuff than I do. But I just thought it might be something that would be cool to do or you might be interested in. And I know you can't get to the Canvas guide because you're really busy. So I thought maybe this would be a way for you to group up and do some study grouping uh, as we get towards the end of the semester. And then you'll be ready to hit the ground running when you roll into Part B if you pass Part A. So there it is.